What is up, y'all? And welcome back to another Sanji Valley video. Today I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about Lost Books, but it's more of a long story short. I'll make sure I get to the point. Let's get into it. There are a total of 21 lost books and I'll make sure I'll put them in order and organize them by number so if there's a certain book you're looking for, hopefully this organization might help. I'll make sure that I quicken them so I can get straight to the point, so let's start off with lost book number one. Lost book number one goes straight to the point with farming. Fertilizers can be used to improve crop quality, reduce workload by having a chance to be watered the next night, or to quicken their growth process. Fruit trees take 28 days to grow and will only bear fruit in their correct season. Crops will die if the next season appears, and some crops require scythe to harvest, such as kale. Lost book number two is a book from money regarding farm animals. They need to be pet every day. They prefer grass outdoors over hay. They don't go outside when it's raining, and happier animals produce high quality products. Lost book number three goes into details about foraging. Foraging in the woods and the mountains is great for wild produce. Clear any weeds, stumps or stones to increase the chance for foragers to grow. Wild seeds can be crafted out of their respective seasonal forages to grow even more forages. These wild seeds are received as recipes from foraging level 1, 4, 6 and 7 for spring, summer, fall and winter respectively. Lost book number 4 is a theatre act named The Fisherman. Act 1 mentions that fishing more regularly can improve your fishing skill and can eventually unlock you recipes for bobbers to improve your fishing experience. Some bobbers can also be bought from really shop as well if you don't have the resources to craft them. Last book number 5 mentions the caves located northeast of Pelican Town. There are three distinct areas that can be found in there and that is evident by the three areas looking different. Level 1 to 39 is referred to as brown earth, level 40 to 79 is referred to as frozen earth, and level 80 to 120 is referred to as lava. Lost book number six is a mention from an old time farmer. They talk about becoming friends with the local townspeople and receiving gifts and recipes in return to their friendship. Maybe it's something you should try with all the town folk in town. Lost book number seven mentions how scarecrows can be used to scare off your crows from your crops. Having multiple on your farm is a great idea if you plan on having plenty of crops, as scarecrows cover an 8x8 eight eight tile radius. It mentions that there are 8 to collect, and that is not including the scarecrow that you can craft at the start. Here is a list of the 8 scarecrows that you can find and where to obtain them, courtesy of the Saji Valley Wiki. Collecting all 8 gains you access to a deluxe scarecrow. You'll be mailed the next day of the recipe to craft this. This scarecrow covers double the radius at a 16x16 16 16 tile radius, so keep that in mind. Last book number 8 mentions the magical energy of star drops that is thought to grant power to those that eat them. By now you may have found a star drop. They increase your energy permanently by 34 points. There are 7 to find and I'll mention where they are. One can be bought from the Stardew Valley Fair at fall day 16 for 2000 star points. One is found at level 100 of the mines. One is found once you've married your spouse and reached 12.5 hearts with them. One is sold by Krobus who lives in the sewers for 20,000 gold. One is given to you by the statue in the secret forest when given him a sweet gem berry. Sweet gem berries are grown from rare seeds that can be bought from the traveling merchant. One is received in a letter from Willy when every fish is caught in game, granting you the master angler achievement. And one is given to you after handing 95 items to the museum. Lost Book 9 mentions a game called The Journey of the Pirate King, a very difficult game that can be found at the Star Drop Saloon at the arcade. Winning the game grants you a reward and an achievement. I have yet to beat it, so give it a try. You can also gain an achievement at least through Steam on PC by completing the game without dying, so let me know if you have. Lost Book 10 talks about the understanding of diamonds found in the mines. Diamonds appear more commonly after level 50 and the chance to find them per level is 0 .00016. If you'd like to make decent money from diamond farming, this might be of great importance, although book 16 might be of more help. Lost Book 11 talks about brewing, which is available when you've unlocked the recipe for kegs at farming level 8. There are a few uses for kegs. 
It states here that juice takes the least amount of time to brew, but I don't believe that is correct. Coffee takes the least at two hours in game using five coffee beans. It mentions that wheat produces beer, hops produce pale ale, and fruit make wine, which takes the longest to brew. I can confirm that even though it says drink in moderation, drinking many wines do not affect the character. However, drinking a wine will cause the character to be tipsy with one less speed for 30 seconds. So drink responsibly. Lost book number 12 talks about dwarves and the theory of sky people landing on Earth but living underground due to the change in atmosphere and our harsh sunlight. The only dwarf that looks like the dwarf referenced here is found in the mines to the east. His name is called Dwarf, so I don't believe Krobus, who is found in the sewers, is the dwarf mentioned here, even though Krobus lives underground. The last line of this book is interesting. My only theory here is the strange capsule that has a 0.8% chance to land on your farm. Once the strange capsule breaks after three days, the bean inside of it escapes. It is said that the dark creature can be found running to the bus stop or behind the trees and bushes in Pelican Town. You can't interact with him and he runs as soon as the character is close to him. Maybe he's up to something. Like in the video? Why not consider leaving a like? Want to see more Stardew Valley videos? Why not consider subscribing? And if you want to keep yourself notified, don't forget the bell. Lost Book 13 talks about the Holy Yober. Yorba is believed to have created the earth that Pelican Town resides on. A few Pelican Town areas can be seen displaying the symbol of Yorba, including the altar in Pierre's shop, behind Lewis's bed in his room, a sign of the vessel, which is a statue of the symbol, can be bought from Krobus in the sewers, and Harvey displays a symbol in his clinic. Last book 14 talks about dating and marrying that special someone in Saji Valley. At 8 hearts with your special someone, you can purchase a bouquet to hand to them. Hopefully they accept. Then at 10 hearts, head to the beach on a rainy day to find the old mariner on the east side. He'll sell you a mermaid pendant for 5,000 gold. Handing this to your special someone means you'll be proposing. If they say yes, congratulations! A wedding ceremony will occur in three days. If you'd like to see more tips about dating and marrying in Sajir Valley, check out my previous video in the annotations and the description below. Lost Book 15 is Fisherman Act number 2 that talks about a fish called the Legend. It mentions that the person fishing for the legend must be the master at fishing to be worthy enough to fish for it. More details about this fish is mentioned in Book 17 regarding legendary fish. Also, Tex is Gordy's son. Dun dun dun! Lost Book 16 talks about the blueprint for a crystallarium. This blueprint is given to you at mining level 9. It essentially duplicates any mineral placed in there after a few days. The least amount of time to duplicate an item includes the quartz, earth crystal and topaz, whereas the gems that require the most time to duplicate are diamonds, star shards and helvites. All other minerals can be placed in there, such as jeans, which can be used to purchase a staircase every Sunday from the desert trader, or amethysts if you're planning to use them to gain huts with the town folk. Diamond will make you the most money overall and will take 5 days in game to produce. So be sure to place a lot of crystallariums if you want to make a lot of money with diamonds. Lost Book 17 is what we've been waiting for regarding the legendary fish which can be caught in Stardew Valley. They can only be caught once per save file and can be caught at any point of the game as long as these requirements are met for each fish respectively. These fishes can be identified by the little pink hat atop the fish when reeling them in. I would highly recommend an iridium rod bought at Willy's, being close to level 10 at fishing as much as you can, a tackle to assist you with reeling them in. I used cork bobber earlier on for a bigger fishing bar but then switched to a trap bobber so the fish has a slower chance to escape and also bring along food that give you benefits such as seam foam pudding to increase your fishing skill. One of the easiest legendary fish to catch is the mutant carp which is caught in the sewers at any time in any weather. No requirements are needed here. Crimson fish can be caught in summer at any time in any weather. You will need to be at least level 5 in fishing and must be at the east pier on the beach. Angler can be caught in fall and at any time in any weather. It is north of the Jojama on the Wooder Plank Bridge and will require at least level 3 in fishing. Glacier fish is caught in winter at any time in any weather. This is caught at the south end of Arrowhead Island in Sindasat Forest, which is this area right here. And finally, the fish, the myth, 
Sorry, I meant the legend. Which is caught at the mountain lake near the log in the water right here. This will require you to have level 10 in fishing and can be caught at any time, but it does have to be raining. This was the toughest catch for me, so definitely use a trap bobber for a better time. Lost Book 18 is a mention from Gunther of a little door that is hiding in a dark tunnel leading out of Pelican Town. This is in reference to one of the quests that can be completed through the secret notes. This is covered in my secret notes video at timestamp 10 minutes and 46 seconds. I'll link it in the annotations below and you can definitely find it in the description. Last book 19 is a little thank you from Gunther for filling up the library. Gunther, you're so cute, you son of a gun. Last book 20 talks about goblins who possess an intellectual and emotional similarity to humans. Although, because they have distrusted humans for centuries, they work under witches, warlocks, necromancers, and other unsavory types. They do, however, love void mayonnaise. If you've been given a void egg from the witch event that may occur on your farm, you can either save these, incubate these eggs to harvest more void eggs from them, or you can buy a void egg from Krobus at any time for 5,000 gold. After completing the community center or the Jojo Mart program, heading to the train tracks will start a cutscene with the wizard. Gather the dark talisman man found in the sewers to gain access to the witch's lair. It is protected by the mentioned goblins. He isn't here to hurt anyone, but he won't budge either. Hand him a void mayonnaise and it seems that the book was right. Goblins really like their void mayonnaise. Last book 21 is interesting. <laughs> I'm sure by looking at this book, if you've read it, seems like it's gibberish. This is the only book with every letter that is capitalized, which means the book is trying to show us a secret. This actually mentions three secret directions to complete in Stardew Valley. The first one spells Super Cucumber Town. This is asking the character to take a super cucumber into town. A very secret hiding spot can be found behind the fences above the blacksmith. In this box, place down a super cucumber to be given a statue called Question mark, question mark, HMTGF, question mark, question mark. The second mention reads, Dark Mayo Saloon. Take a dark mayonnaise to the Star Drop Saloon by the barrels. Placing the dark mayo in this box will reward you with a statue that says, question mark, question mark, pinky, lemon, question mark, question mark. And the third mention reads, Strange Bun Toy Box. The toy box here is found in Vincent's room. You'll need at least two hearts with Vincent to gain access to his room. But once access, place the strange bun in here for a statue called question mark question mark Foroguman question mark question mark these statues have no other purpose from what i can find except that they're just decorative items that you can show off on your farm and that is all for lost books today i hope you guys have enjoyed as always you can catch me live on twitch.tv forward slash fuzzerino i love your faces and i'll see you next time take care